Well, students at Carleton University say they showed up to the fitness center today and the scales were gone. They don't feel they were given a choice in this situation and now some are fighting back. CTV's Megan Shaw spoke with some of those students today. Megan. That's right, Matt. This happened about two weeks ago and they say there was a note where the scales used to be saying that they were gone because they wanted to promote positive body imaging. And now they are fighting. They want their scales once again. At the Carleton University Fitness Centre, you'll find top-notch equipment, but what you won't see are scales, at least not anymore. I think it's a little over the top. Earlier this month, school officials took them away in an effort to promote better body image, a move that sparked backlash. I mean, everybody does things their own way, and if people want to use the scales, I don't think they should take them away from them. I personally like to keep track of my physical goals and my personal weight, and the fact that they took it away is kind of... I just don't really understand the reason behind it because I like to know what I weigh. Many others protesting on social media. Riley Main writes next, it will be the mirrors. Hashtag bring back the scale. And on Twitter, Aaron Ben says, so Carlton removed the scale so people won't be offended by the measurement it provides. Novel concept, don't step on the scale. Management of the school's wellness program stands by the decision but say it could be overturned and that they'll weigh the pros and cons. But officials at Carleton are firm that the scale does not provide a good indication of health, telling CTV there are other alternatives to measure the success that were more accurate than just weighing themselves. And many experts agree. So here's where we keep our scale, and I only have two out of my 12 clients that use it. As we go down... Stanley Victor is a certified personal trainer. He tells his clients to focus on how they feel versus obsessing over a number. For them, the skill scares them. It tells them that uh, they're not good enough and they're not seeing results. But says his gym carries a skill and he does believe in providing the choice, especially for athletes and bodybuilders. School officials say at the end of the day, the fitness center was built for students. And if there is enough of a demand, they'll consider replacing this new policy. Now, officials say they do offer other ways to keep track of progress, like taking someone's measurements instead of stepping on a scale. And we do know as of today, the scales were still gone. Matt. Interesting to see what happens there. CTV's Megan Shaw reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Megan.